Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning La La and I'm absolutely honored to welcome to the show the head monster himself, Mr. Noli. Thank you so much for being with us today. Well, no, thank you for waking me up. <laughs> <laughs> you wake us up every day with those beats. You have such an incredibly inspiring story. I'm wondering where this journey of transformation started for you. We know you transformed the audio industry, but what did, made you get into that? You know, you were an engineer, correct? Yeah, uh, yes, I was. So uh, I was a very geeky engineer, you know, very sheltered. Didn't know about business, didn't know about uh, what's out there in the world. But I decided to uh, go out on the road with my band, and that's where I learned about life. Transform me. <laughs> yeah. so, so you gave up your geekiness, the engineer, the stability, and pursued rock and roll? Yeah, oh yeah, that's, you know, uh, you know, if you're a son of Asian immigrant uh, parents, you either are an accountant or an engineer. Mm -hmm. yeah, you're not a musician. <laughs> so what did your family say when you gave it up to be on tour? Well, they still don't understand me, so. <laughs> <laughs> they thought it was crazy. Yeah, they say music's not a profession. So so you, you went out, you, you cut those cords as far as like, your family, was that hard for you? Was it hard to disappoint them? In well, that look at you, you gotta look at what this uh, situation was. So I'm in the newcomers club in Livermore. I worked at the Lawrence Livermore Laboratory on nuclear fusion. And uh, uh, my life was set, okay, but it was a box. Mm -hmm. And if I bust out of that box, I said, it's gotta be more than the box. I wanna explore outside the box. So when I had a chance to go on tour with the band, I discovered sleazy knife club owners who would rip me off. <laughs> okay. uh, being on unemployment, you know, working here and not working there. Mm -hmm. uh, and But it was my passion to be uh, playing music. It's so interesting because that's such a similar story to people in La La Land, right? People who are living in full pursuit of their passions, of their dreams, but so few of those people can successfully make that a business. You know, the, uh, there's a difference between uh, passion of art and uh, writing and the things that you want to do and making a business, okay? And if you can't make it a business, uh, it's hard to survive. And if I look at all the uh, phenomenal musicians out there in LA uh, and to be that good and work in a club for $100, I mean, it, to me, it's a, it's a tragedy because they don't get uh, respected uh, for the amount of work it mm -hmm. takes to be a great artist. So how can those people make it a business? Well, it's all, you know, I'm gonna say this is uh, uh, not just uh, what I've done, but it's who you know. Mm. You gotta go out there and network, so you gotta go there and talk, and that's how, if you look at all the, the great, uh, let's say, session musicians, okay? The reason why they're session musicians, one is ability, but two is they, they connect. Okay, they know uh, 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 who to go to, uh, people who want them, know how to go to them, and you gotta be reliable. Mm -hmm. You gotta do what you say you're gonna do within the time you say you're gonna do it, because then you become dependable, and that's where people want you. Mm -hmm. uh, dependable. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's a serious commitment and rituals around that, right? <laughs> Absolutely, and like on his shirt it says, always lead. Always lead, never follow. That's uh, our mantra for our company. Mm -hmm. Uh, we that. don't chase anything, okay? We always innovate around something. We always be creative. Because if you're, you know, if you're chasing something that's already there, it's all about the price. But you're, it's fascinating because you come in, you're, you clearly command energy. You come in, you've got these really chic chains of CEO <laughs> and you're like blinging out, you've got your posse and you're very humble at the same time. And so what is it? Like what, what do you, what's your, what are you most passionate about right now? Well, uh, well, first of all, I'm, um, uh, I'm still passionate about music, but all our products and things I develop now is having consumers consume music in an involving way that you've mm -hmm. never heard of before. Okay, and it's hard to describe unless you've kind of experienced uh, some of the things that we do, but when you hear Alicia Keys and you're this far away from the microphone, you know, or you got a uh, bass or hip hop and it's you know, just hitting you better than in a concert. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do this in automobiles and headphones and speakers. Uh, it renews life. You go uh, listen to everything over again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
sounds like when we come into this lifetime, it's almost like we check a box. We'll stay in the box or we want to check being outside the box into the experience of life. And that's what you're bringing into Marketplace is the experience of sound. Sound is, as we know, can be a very healing thing. It'd be a very crippling thing. But sound is so important. And the music is such a, it creates movements. I mean, you're literally involved with movements. Music is such a forward place for all the voices Look, around the world. Music mm -hmm. is the emotion, okay? And if you can reproduce music better than, and hear it better, you get more emotion out of it. You get more so, bling, too. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, emotion <laughs> is, you know, like uh, uh, your viewers, it's, it's happiness, uh, it's sadness, it's memories, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, and it's, uh, I call it a time machine. Well, that, what's, your, not... what's your favorite, like, ballad? Come on, when you're singing and you're like. <laughs> well, uh, you know, I like, uh, well, first of all, I like uh, all of uh, Michael uh, Jackson's. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And, uh, awesome. you know, Heal the World. I did a video against Heal the World because it was, and I did a concert around Heal the World. Oh. And it's about music healing, okay, because when you release your, uh, Morphins or whatever you yeah. do when, uh, when you're uh, recovering. So I want to use music to recover people from um, uh, psychological disorders, mm -hmm. uh, alcoholism, uh, drug abuse, uh, as well as pain because you're in the mm -hmm. hospital. Mm -hmm. So one of our endeavors uh, of Heal the World is to bring high quality music, working with composers to uh, compose music that actually helps you regenerate. Wow. And, uh, you know, when you, and especially sensitive to the, uh, you know, veterans who come back from the wars right. and they are in a terrible mm -hmm. state. Mm -hmm. Okay, and they're lost. And I, uh, I want music that uh, help us, you know, unite, uh, feel better about uh, themselves, better. You know, look at the suicide rate. Yeah, and look at the yeah. suicide rate amongst young people. It's going to get worse. You know, it's, it's incredible. Yeah. You're right. It's only oh. been increasing over the years. And some of our favorite guests, Nacho Armani, Wes Gear, mm -hmm. they heal through music. And you are at the top of that list of my, sort of my favorite um, people who speak to that. Yeah. So, well, you know, this uh, heal the world. And if you listen to the lyrics, which is why I love that song so much, is uh, it's about changing. Okay. It's, a, it's about changing mindsets and your viewpoint. And, and, and Michael wrote it. Okay, so mm -hmm. just an amazing song. Yeah, mm -hmm. wow. it's incredible. There's nothing like music to instantly sort of transform your mood, and also just transform how you feel about yourself. And it's kind of odd because it's not necessarily about you. The songs aren't always, ne always necessarily about you, but the music does something inside that's hard to describe, isn't it? Right. Yeah. Well, you know, it's uh, one music doesn't fit all. Okay, but everybody has their own uh, emotional uh, touch points. So this is why there's such a wide variety of music. Yeah. What we were talking about yesterday about uh, uh, oh my girl here with uh, Amy Winehouse. Yeah. Mm. Just, oh, and Amy Winehouse. Wow. Yeah, and when you uh, think about, okay, what did Amy go through and dying at such a young age with the message that she had. Mm. So it's not only the music, it's the, uh, uh, the life around the music, the story around the music. And if you listen to uh, you know, every artist, and when they talk the story about how it was composed, what it means, you know, it's a whole different thing, you know, because yeah. then you really understand the music. But anyway, that's what I think that is, uh, I hope to bring right. to everybody through our products. Well, we love it. We love want it. that monster, the good monster that brings <laughs> high frequency, high vibes. Amazing. I see huge concerts with raising money for mental, uh, you know, yes, issues, absolutely. suicide and bringing that into extraordinary things around frequency and things that really do heal. So thank you so much for all your work in the industry that is one of the most powerful industries in this well, world. Thank you for the opportunity to, to be able to speak to it. Uh, you know, the other thing too is, uh, if I can divert just for a second, yeah. but, you know, it's the, there's natural instruments, you know, like violin, piano, you know, uh, uh, brass, and there's created Okay, and my work with uh, uh, Beats by Dr. Dre put me into the, you know, hip hop uh, world, which which is great, but it's not the world. Okay, uh, it influences a whole lot of people, but I was just uh, at a dinner last night with the artist called Yoshiki, 
mm. and uh, very famous artist in Japan. But he composes, he plays me. He's going to be doing the uh, the theme song for the Olympics uh, wow. in Japan. He conducts orchestras, so and he's a rock cool. drummer. Oh, mm. okay. I mean, look at the guy is amazing. Do it all. Yeah, <laughs> it's incredible. Okay, but he's bringing. Uh, Dr. Yeah. Dre got nothing on this guy. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he said, "Let's take Dr. Dre out. I want to be the Dr. Dre about the beats." <laughs> totally. Wow. But see, that's what the uh, you know, when you hear the emotion of real music meaning real instruments. Mm -hmm. That's another emotion. Mm -hmm. So it's not just about the beat. Okay. It's about the harmonics of a violin or a piano, the overtones. And when you feel that energy, uh, just it's uplifting. Yeah. It is uplifting. It is. Yeah. Total ecstasy, for sure. <laughs> so awesome to meet you. Thank okay, you. so yep. uh, thank you so much. How can people much? follow your personal journey? Because that's what we all want to watch. We're like, wow, how... Okay, Your it's life is uh, very intriguing. Well, you know, uh, I got my Instagram, uh, the uh, Monster CEO. Is that what it is? Okay. <laughs> Get your team Thank too. you, Andre. I got team. my yeah. social team uh, here helping me. And uh, of course, uh, uh, monsterstore.com. You're going to check out uh, right. the products. So. Awesome. Thank Such you a pleasure. So much. All right. Well, thank you so too. much. Thank you. Thank you. Stay thank tuned. You, we'll be back with more on Good Morning Lala Land.